And we're back with the finale of Night in the Woods. Yay! All right. Hi. Yep, we're here. Go B. Awesome. Yeah, that's exactly right. We're on B's route. We finished Greg last time. Let's get B done. Let's not go insane like we did last time, Hannah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was fun, but that was nozzle nuts. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna do that again. So let's go ahead and run it. So whenever okay. you're ready, May. Sure. Thanks for like. Oh, my controller turned off while we were waiting. There. Yep. There we are. Coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the things. So, like... So... Uh, nope. Oh, sorry. So, like, do you have any idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. Or but there's a, a ghost, ghost following me? Yeah, I'm... Yeah. Or, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't... Uh, there's a ghost inside my head. Following okay. me. There's a ghost following me. All right. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, I hear yeah, and sure, but what was the vote? Because <laughs> I had one for two options. Okay, yeah, you got me for like two more minutes, so uh, you should probably ghost, make the best of it. Um, ghost following me. Okay, let's go for it. I like it keeps showing up when we go out to, like, investigate it. Or all those times it could have just been a random person? No, I can, like, feel it. In my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? Mm. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost yeah dude there are like 50 better explanations for all of this like what you have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out i get migraines and may You've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. So before I say my line, I'm going to quickly tell a little, just a little story because it reminds me of back in time when you see things. So me and my sister, I think it was Babs, were driving back uh, from- Should uh, I uh, believe her name? No. Okay. He doesn't watch this. Um, and we were driving, I won't tell where we were driving back. We, we were driving back to something. And I don't know why, but it was the during the time of the Slender Man. So we were talking about Slender Man. And as we were getting closer to our home, um, I looked up, I screamed. Babs looks up, she screams. Then it turns out <laughs> the thing we saw I thought was a Slender Man was just a guy standing there smoking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my little story. The oh, Slender Man. Remind, remind, me to, remind me to wear really nice suits and smoke and freak people out. <laughs> DJ, if you no, start you gotta... smoking, I think Hannah would kill you first. Yeah, before the smoking dust. Ah. Fair enough. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really, you're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all, what do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. A little bit, I guess. <sighs> Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, uh, dude. So, let's go find your ghost. 
Wait, was Andrew here for when we actually know what happened? Andrew's played this game before. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. Never mind then. So everyone here knows. Hey! A Seb! Hi. Seb! <laughs> Darn it, Seb. I was looking forward to my role. <laughs> well, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Because Angus does. Aww. You guys. Let's all go get killed in a mine together. It's it's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's... Oh, sorry, a window just popped up in front of my screen. I clicked on the Chrome button, it's like, Full screen, bitches! You won't see shit! Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you. For believing me. Uh, mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there. Alone. At night. Nothing could go wrong! That's enough. <laughs> Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. Oh, oh, that means, like, let May guide them all the- not May. Uh, yeah, May. May hides, guides them all the hunt ghosts and, like, what does she plan on doing when she sees this ghost? Every time she sees the ghost, she just goes, Ah, run away! Yep. <laughs> oh, you have to confront your fear. Even if you don't have any tools to harm the ghost, you have to confront your fear. I mean, or maybe she's just bad at planning, and maybe you should think about things that can hurt ghosts if you're going to go find them and confront them. Or Dude, at, least, at least you defend yourself ghost. against angry ghosts. <laughs> just, like, say, hey... Ghost, please stop following me. Dude, that might be enough. Ghosts ghost like me too much, as we know in our phasmophobia videos. <laughs> they, they like me a little too much. Like, asking them nicer <laughs> to go away yeah, could no. be enough. No, all, be I enough. Have to, all I have to do is just talk about myself, my love of Don Europa, and my cats, and the ghost is like, oh, that bitch got uh, guy. No, no. <laughs> oh, I need hear another word. Side the mortal coil. Oh, ah, she'll be a great ghost. Hey, she she just told us her resume. We don't need to we don't need to know more. <laughs> I am a, I'm in a job Pam's interview for Pam's version of haunting is just telling the, the people about the cats she had yeah. and about the game she once played. Oh my god, I would be the annoying ghost and be like, shut like, up. Like she's even better than the Britney Spears fan that just says it's Britney, bitch, and crawls around on the ceiling. <laughs> But hold up, hold up, I had to it's ask ghosts, you, bitch. If, you, if you woke up and saw an apparition that was just floating above your face that just started saying, you want to hear about Dong and Rafa? Would you not scream and pee your pants? <laughs> I would, I would. I would. I would scream, pee my pants, and go, wait, you like Dong and Rafa? Wait, I have a Okay, guys, I gotta, I gotta start winding down for bed. I'll see you Sounds later. Good. Have a good night. Have yeah. a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay. I haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Go listen for hours. Why? We didn't uh, hang out with Greg this time, so. Oh. Owls are cool. <laughs> I like that. All right. That changes. <laughs> He's no longer afraid of owls if you didn't hang out with him for it. Yeah, it's it's dire vision of owls. It's like, if I didn't get attacked that by that owl, it's all good. But if if one of those fuckers touch me, nah, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> I got work in the morning. Let's go get, get, catch us a ghost. Follow me, also, man. Because we are better friends with B. Now the height order is fucked up. Oh, mm. B. B was perfect. It's no longer oh. the. It's no longer the. Can you hear me? <laughs> Symbol. <laughs> How have I never been? I'm seeing more bars there? in more places. <laughs> Fences work. Fences don't work on me. Nah, people are up here all the time. I can't remember when I was like twelve. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, Chief? 
Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah. Let's go. I feel like that since we've been through this, I'm better at determining what oh, yeah. inflections well, I, mean, I need to do. That's the thing, is like with anything that you do, a first read's always gonna be like not the best. Oh god, yes. I and, yes. Like, this I... is literally your first playthrough. Like I think Han and I have like a a better shot at giving like better voices this time around because she and I have gone through this game multiple times now. Wow. Gotta, <clears throat> excuse me, gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12? Were, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna reread that. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all of this back up in here? <laughs> What's up? Someone just walked on my grave. Nothing. <laughs> just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night. When you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. So old. <laughs> so old. I love the way they animate this game. Dude, he may. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost time. Woo! Fine. So I like that scene because it like hints that May does have a connection with something that's going wrong here. Oh yeah, every, every like like in like stories like this, there's always that one person that like has that connection to whatever stuff's going on. Like like mm -hmm. Monster Hunter of the Week or what a Monster of the Week, I think. Um has a character like that. Oh yeah. So, it's just what the Huh? Oh my god. <gasps> the god. DJ, your character. Oh, am I the dude getting the shit beaten out of him? Yeah, this is the only thing here this time. Love it. No! No! Ah, hell, he's already awake. Anyone got any my juice? Any juice? My juice! <laughs> no! No, guys! Anyone got my soaps? <laughs> Aw, hell. You're supposed to kill him in his sleep. Guys! You guys! Wait! Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make a mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack! Cause of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you would have called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Gu guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out? Like, throw me to the, you know... But, but I got family! Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jean and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. 
D -D Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. And since it's the second time we're playing this, I can make the joke. Oh my god, Dave was a cultist! Dave! <laughs> no! Dave! No! no. Not precious Dave! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dave. You owed him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice. And I appreciate it if you stop laying the guilt trip on us. No, no! Hold him still. No! <laughs> Hold still. This will go easier. <laughs> All right, he's free. We don't live in a duplex anymore, so I can scream as loud as I want. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to pull my headphones away. <laughs> Discord suppressed it well enough on my end. Mm -hmm. Well, I would, oh, I would if I wanted to, I could turn him down from 200, but I don't want to do that. Ah. <laughs> now that it's happened, I can say their New Year's resolution was to cut out toxic people. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. oh no! Holy crap! Lerv. Literally. Ah! Lerv. ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish in. I, oh hell, let's get this over with. Negativity is bringing this whole room down. <laughs> you should just bring it, you just bring it, everything down. We should just make this easy, Lurv, and align your chakras. Oh mm. god, his bone, his bone stick out, bleh. The hell? Shit. Me? May Borowski? Ah, uh, double shit! Run! <laughs> I was like, oh, they yeah. They knew! Uh, Alright, and. Uh -huh. Can't you just get hit by them right away anyway? Uh, I mean, I could run into the rocks if you really want me to. No, no! Don't. That's right. I sorry that was louder than I felt it too. It's fine. You're like, take care of my baby. Take care of me. <laughs> take care of my persona. <laughs> Is this your first... persona now? I, I could see you having a black cat persona, honestly. The first time we played this game, like this this ending, I was like, <gasps> yeah, no, it shocked me too. I was like, am I dead? What the fuck's going on? Oh yeah, no. And I, I, was, did... I was like, wait. This, this is the fun like... thing about playing it a second time is, like, this is what happened also for like Rosie, Hannah, and I's playthrough was just the second We're... time round we couldn't take like the, it with the same gravity. The first time it was just nope. shock, and like the second time it was like, oh, I want to talk about this now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want I want to let out the emotions I had the first time. And then just making so many inappropriate jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's us. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yep. Well, I'm going to zone out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I barely remember how to play this. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Dude, that's weird. Sick. Hmm. I like to go over the plots of books I've read. I like going over the anime. Oh, episodes. look at this party. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Oh. Wow. Woo, I'm a ghost. Woo. <laughs> All right. Well. And I love that. You get to control B this time. You know what's nice. really cool about it, too? Is when you first play this, you don't see Mei yet, and you're controlling a different character, it's all the more emotionally impactful. You're like, May just what? died. Well, well, what? Remember in the episode, I kept asking, where am I? Guys, what's happened to me? Yeah. <laughs> am I dead? And now I'm like, eh. Yeah, I refused <laughs> to tell you because I didn't want to spoil it. It was going to be answered pretty damn soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am so tired. 
I could like curl up on their bed. Dude, that's weird. I do stuff on that. <laughs> she's probably tired enough that she's not thinking about that. <laughs> I'm probably true. You never think about that. You're just like, I'm tired. <laughs> There's like a whole living area under there. I mean, I'd also, like, say, like, I'm fairly certain Angus is such a conscientious person that he'd, like, clean the sheets every time. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around, or... It was a stressful time senior year. I don't screw around. Oh, I don't yeah. screw around. I just want to point out, it was a stressful time senior year. She's referring to when her mother had cancer and was dying. Ooh. Mm -hmm. oh, I go for well, two. It was a stressful time one. senior I still, year. I, I still know. I still go. I don't so screw around. So we've got two for I don't screw around. Um, I'll also do um number two. Okay, so that's two and two. Um, So I just want to check. Uh, so have, Seb, you also vote for I Don't Screw Around? I haven't voted yet. Okay, so then you're the tiebreaker. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't screw around. Alright. Not the spirit. I would, like, oh god, remember, like, doing that on controllers where you had to spin with the palm of your hand? <laughs> oh. I don't know that. So... No word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? Or that's bad, right? Uh, that's bad. That's bad, right? right? That's bad, right? Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> this game had a great soundtrack. Kind of like Night in the Woods. I was thinking of Persona 5 Royal, but hey. Very high school summer. Well, I mean, they're talking about like a classic game at this point, so I was going to make the joke uh... of the Sonic Adventure 2 battle. <laughs> I listened to like half the bands on it. Like, that is a Greg thing to do, to listen to like all the butt rock bands from Sonic Adventure. I could see him doing that. I could, I could mm -hmm. as well. That's, yeah. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or oh, we were. I don't know. Cult Man, you know, friends. you know who I would like to see in concert. I want you guys to take a wild guess. Who would I want to see in concert? Nickelback. Actually, that's correct. I really do want to see Nickelback in concert. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I remember you saying multiple times how you like Nickelback. I love Nickelback. Look at this graph. Man, they're pretty great. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. You'll be back. They always come back. So we still have no idea who this is. And the cops? Number one! I feel like May, um, B would answer and the cops. I'm going with number one this time. Whatever, fine. <laughs> Karen, you're supposed to take my side on all things. Not so really. Don't know I'm not in the marriage everything. rules. It no word does it say. What are you saying? You sign a contract. Agree with. <laughs> Ew. That would be. I can't even finish that. Sub. I can't hear no. Seb. I wanted the first one. Okay. Uh, big guy, dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. Seb, so, you didn't say it. Uh, oh my you gosh. To, you need to pay attention. Sorry. <laughs> it was, okay, so got brownies, got soda. Okay, so got brownies, got soda. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. I love brownies. And... Yeah. Maybe lasagna. Lasagna! Lasagna? Brownies. Lasagna! Sure. Lasagna. Brownies. I love, I love Brownies. lasagna. Oh, Sam, you get to be the tiebreaker this time. <laughs> and by that I mean Samuel Sam. 
Well, yeah, I figured that. Look, I learned from Andrew. Just assume know, they're talking. <laughs> talk about the other one. Brownies. Okay, so well, yeah, another one. Brownies. Got it. Yeah, I was going to say, I assume that there's pot in them. <laughs> I don't think there is, but one can he, He's too wholesome. I think Angus makes weed brownies. I don't think he tells people. <laughs> I think he does it. Angus, excuse me, Angus. That seems to be a pretty common like theme, though, across like uh, some of our stuff. I've had other people go, Angus does wee brownies, too. <laughs> Seth? I got, loved, I got some mix last week. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. God be, I'm stress eating. That's what's happening. That's how we deal with grief. We all deal with grief in our own way. Well, don't forget, yeah. Angus was also food insecure as a child. Mm -hmm. His parents abused yeah. him, neglected him, and didn't feed him always. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing, is that his response to stress is to cook and make a lot of food. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. That's it actually, is to prepare a lot of food. Yeah, no, that's actually canonically what he's doing. Yeah. He is preparing a lot of food because it is making him feel safe. It is literally... It is literally making him feel prepared because he is no, he knows that he is not missing something. Because that was a big, a big source as a child that he would be missing something and that would mean he's not safe. Oh, yeah. Seth? And then probably he eats oh. it very quickly because he doesn't know when he's going to eat next. Because as a child, he didn't know when he was going to eat yet, so he better eat it right now. Yeah. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Aw, no more than anyone else. So, that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep, sort of. He had a hat. Huh. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? No, Angus, you do not. Don't <laughs> cook lasagna frozen, Angus, yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Blackout. What a great storytelling device. Oh, hey, May, you woke up. Isn't this a lovely way to wake up in the morning? Mm, no. Don't you just love nice morning walks? No. No. These times, probably, but... You get to have a nice little trip through the woods question is, did you have a night in the woods? I mean, she did. She slept out there. And look, now here she is with snow falling by the food donkey. I think she's having a blast on this. You had the walk. delete. You missed that. You guys didn't see the deleted scene where the cultist said, well, May Borofsky, looks like you're about to spend a night in the woods. Uh, and then everyone clapped. Uh, 
<laughs> and then, well, and then the night, the now night you know the true over Undertale. Over Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Brodsky, you are the Resident Evil. <laughs> Can't wait till I get home. Jump on the mailbox. Here we go. It's time to just lay down and die a little. You want to die anywhere else? Not huh. anywhere, just not here. I don't know. Here seems pretty nice. I feel it's like like the second time you watch a very serious movie, you're, you're like doing callbacks to the movie the whole time. I feel like that's like <laughs> what this scene is, right? The first time you're like, "Holy fuck!" and the second time you're like, "Hey, no, it's gonna be okay. We can now." <laughs> <laughs> Anna, do you want to do what we did last time? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> sure, let's do this. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so what we did last time was we did a grab bag. People pick a character that's not your character. When each person talks, we'll just have somebody grab a random character. So I was supposed to do it like Anna can be Pastor Kate now. Are we supposed to do it like serious All right. or goofy? I want to be Pastor can, Kate. I like do Pastor however Kate. you want. I want to be Kate. Seb, Seb called it first. Fuck off, it's Seb. A, it's a first come, <laughs> first serve. God is here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In this room. Pastor I Kate. Pastor that. Kate was like... <laughs> Times like this, we can call out... And know that our cries are heard. <laughs> Sniff! <laughs> audible, audible word, Sniff. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about me. That would be nice. Me is hey, is. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I think Germ would appreciate that. It may be okay. She's really a nice person. Even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in my play, my movie I want to make. Thrill Kill Witch Cult. I knew she'd appreciate that. <laughs> Who are you again? Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? Seb, you should do this guy, but, like, with a real Polish accent. <laughs> no. I think no one should give him a Polish accent. It's too late for him now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. May is a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> she and I explored the stars. I love it. Giving him an aggressively Midwestern accent. I like this. <laughs> and, and she loved to hear about them. She... I am sorry. <laughs> it can be difficult. Anyone else? This is such a serious I, scene. I've always known me as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And... I just think it's not fair. That me of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Thank you, Selma. <laughs> Let's fight yeah. it. Let's find God and fight him. I'll say something. 
My broski's always been a mess. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Oh, that was me, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you did a coma. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know any sex in this one. <laughs> Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Me and my Voice cult changed. associates are very keenly aware of me. I mean, sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time <laughs> with the wrong people pointing guns at them. I hope we can find out exactly what happened to her and who shot at her. Wasn't me. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. There were fucking witnesses. <laughs> I'm sure whatever happened to it, the people probably had a very good reason. And it doesn't, yeah, it's, it does, it's not worth any more observation. <laughs> yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of Century Avenue. Someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things, taught things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and, and just, you just lose a out. part of speech. I, I know, but I gotta point this out. Like, Mr. Cheskov has not stopped crying. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, yeah. He's been listening to like the most headbanging song out there. <laughs> Dude's listening to death metal at a funeral. <laughs> Yo, when I die, can we all play death metal? Hell yeah! And that's what you want, sure. And I have to cross every major intersection twice. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Oh. <laughs> uh, I hope she uh, wakes up soon and tells us all about it. And doesn't just suddenly uh, slip into permanent sleep forever. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she. Oh, hey, it's God Janitor. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Actually, aren't you normally the janitor? Yeah. This is the normal part of the, the thing. Uh, okay. That was we'll, a dream. We'll go back yeah. to normal voices. Yeah. I was having this one. Do we know you? No, he's God. Are you here to clean up? Nah. I'm supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... He's gonna be fine. Or D, these ways. What? What? Uh, so he's actually like metaphorical oh. guy. He's my no, god he, he's, he's, person. I, I mean... This is a fan theory of mine that I believe yeah. other fans have said. This janitor. Okay, was I just like imagine him coming in like, I'm here to fix it. I'm here to fix some loose ends. Puts the pillow over her head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to tell nobody. So You've seen him like twice. He's the god of the cult. We only see him at the beginning, now, and at the very end. Well, we also see him at um, Parfest. Yeah. Yeah, and, and there's kind of a theme of, like, May struggling with who God is. And it just feels right for, in her world, God to be a janitor. He's a dude. He's observing. <laughs> he's just he's just a dude that, like, lives with you, but really is kind of, like, not there. But it's, like, doing menial work, too, right? Like, he's not, like... Yeah, yeah he just cleans things up, and you don't really notice. 
Yep. I mean, that's the mm-hmm. thing is he does small things. Because, like, the other things, he says he's here to fix a door. And what happens is when he leaves, the door that gets fixed is May waking up, essentially. Yeah. So, yeah, he's definitely got some supernatural thing going on, if you want to read the game in the supernatural sense. What I also love yep. about Night in the Woods is there's actually a completely mundane explanation for everything that's going on as well. And Except the for the cult, just, dude. No, the cult really can also be mundane. It's just a whole bunch of fucking weirdos out in the middle of the Midwest who are just like thinking that if they kill a whole bunch of young people that it's going to bring back prosperity. But has prosperity ever actually came back to this town? No, no. it hasn't. Uh, that's the worst part. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Guess what they're guess what's happening to them? They're probably huffing fumes out in a fucking horrifying mine that they shouldn't be in because that thing is leaking gases and it's even like hinted that that's been going on. They mentioned a sinkhole happening at one point and after the sinkhole happened, May starts getting headaches and starts getting visions from gases leaking from the mines. <laughs> oh my god. It's the fucking whole natural gas pit that they opened up yeah no i a, love that image there is and then he would just be some random fucking janitor just, yeah. <laughs> he he just, really just like his people watching mm-hmm. yeah no genuinely all we have is we can even go with like angus's explanation of there is no higher power it's just people who care and that we're pattern seekers we were like well this kind of weird thing happened and this weird thing kind of happened so maybe they're both supernatural then when i mean really, that is fair we yeah. You were saying, Sam? I was saying because we, we seek patterns. Like, in clouds, mm-hmm. we seek shapes and patterns and things. So, it makes sense that we would seek shapes and patterns in mundane things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Above. Seb? Oh. Who are you? Janitor! Away! Away! <laughs> Davenport! <laughs> what? Those of us that have watched too much Adventure Zone immediately. Just you, you haven't yeah. gotten that far deep. Well, <laughs> yeah, I've been. I've watched literally most of one series on the way to Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on a car hey, ride can... tomorrow, so I'm probably going to listen to a whole bunch of it as well. <laughs> hey, I've been bored. Yeah, I'm bored. Okay. Damn, import. No, Damn that's me! I forgot the house Damn is import. gone. Do you think we. Seb. You know what you oh. must do, Seb? Hey. Uh, you didn't do it. No, you were supposed to do Damn import. <laughs> no. Oh, mm-hmm. thank God. It's Davenport. <laughs> I remember somewhere in the beginning of this anybody. recording Alan goes, maybe we'll actually do it straight face. Less than <laughs> 10 minutes into it, Alan's Nah. No. I'm the one who derailed it, but so I know. everyone should really listen to that podcast. It's real good. The Adventure Zone. Highly recommend yes. it. Yep. Oh yeah. He's cool. well, I mean, it's been out for, oh god, has it been out for almost seven years? Now? Okay, seven, seven years. years. <laughs> wow. Yeah, of the uh, at least at least seven because they were mentioning 2016. Hey, yeah, and the new one's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Oh, is it the Earthsea? (laughs) Just gonna say, uh, not the Earthsea, not uh, and oh, and it's not Earthsea, Ether Sea, but they do they're doing a new one where they're um criminals in Disney World, but it's Ah. not Disney World. (laughs) It's not bad. I really do need to pick pick it back up. I've fallen out of a lot of things oh. I used to listen to and watch. Anyway, we should keep this going. Okay. Yes. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? Gavinport. <laughs> Gavinport, honey? Ooh. Everything. No, not everything. That includes Davenport. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, boy. What's that? Oh, I was like, what's that ringing? Then I realized it's, it's a hospital. Sam, pay attention. Hey, Sam. Well, Wake up. I don't wanna. Ugh.
I love that, like, May gets up, she's like, oh, maybe I should tell Mom, but... Or... I could just leave on my own after having all this horrifying accident, medical bills, and everything. Yeah, I think this is the better choice. Yeah, let's go to my friends. Sup, fuckers. Yes, goes home, We're orders gonna pizza, go find and God. God. Olivia and demand. Oh my God. B. Oh my God. May. Maybe. Holy shit! It's May. It's me. You came back to life. I wasn't dead. <laughs> I don't. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I don't think she was dead. That's the second step on the road of recovery. Realizing that you're the problem, that you need to help fix yourself. The first uh, step was finding a cult that's within your town. Woo! <clears throat> Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? <laughs> so unlike May, <laughs> unlike B, who was like, I could totally sleep in that bed. May's like, they have sex in that bed. No, she <laughs> like it's a bunk bed and she doesn't want to climb a ladder yeah. right now. She's like, I don't want to, My, I got shot and I'm woozy. I don't think climbing is a good idea. <laughs> Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Good, because I wasn't going to stop. Oh, and she walked <laughs> all the way there. Yeah. Can't stop. Yeah. Can't stop. God. Got a platypus controlling me? <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> I just want to share my favorite dumb joke from all of, like, Venus and Ferb. A teenage girl puts on the hat. Parry the teenage girl! A teenage girl! girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's so many small man is so traumatized. They're making their bringing the show back. They're bringing the Polly back. world. <laughs> yeah. They're bringing the show back, and I'm, like, I'm hyped. I, I am too. Mm -hmm. Parry the platypus. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Uh, what was it? A platypus handyman? Wait, a platypus? <laughs> a platypus handyman? That's <laughs> very good. Very good. I'm a good dude. Yeah. 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 I had a kid who loved it, so I had to learn to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is me not trying and sitting at a weird angle. So. Last little side <laughs> tangent about Phoenix and Ferb that I want to throw out there is that Doofenshmirtz yeah. was actually a really good dad. He had terrible yeah. parents and he become like a great yes. father to his daughter. Right? Oh, well, because his parents were, were, were shithead. Well, sorry. His, sorry, you might have to believe that. His parents were just, they're bad. They're bad, bad people. Uh, I mean, we can swear in this. It's okay. Just don't No, no, Doofenshmirtz's parents were bad. Doofenshmirtz's oh, yeah. parents are really, really bad. And then you see, because like all of his backstories are horrible. Mm. His flashbacks are horrible. And then you see how he treats his daughter. My parents did not show up for my birth. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's the thing is that he, he, make, he makes a huge effort to show up to everything that she's doing. Mm -hmm. to, you know, like to be enthusiastic about her life. Oh, yeah. Because his parents never cared about anything he was doing. Yep. Which that should actually show you something that like all of Phineas and Ferb takes place in the course of one summer. And that Vanessa is yeah. such a recurring character, even though he doesn't have custody of her. Shows how yeah. involved he is in her life. Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'm going to do one tangent and then I'm going to leave. But, uh, <laughs> not only, I'm going to just, I'll stop talking about it. But, um, the creators of that show also worked on Hey Arnold. I don't remember if they created it or were just like heavily involved in the oh. story, like character design. But there's some evidence that, there's not a lot, but there's some evidence that it takes place in the same world. Um, oh, huh. and you can kind of actually see it in some of the character designs. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. But oh. it's just very interesting to see how it evolved into, like, the, the DNA that they share. And then you see kind of, like, Dr. Smirch is the Helga. <laughs> is the Helga of <laughs> this show. <laughs> kind of. Because <laughs> you think about it, and it's like, he's the one who would get the spinoff, and it's like, he's, like, the secondary, like the second, the B plot main character. Because mm -hmm. you know it's like about Perry, but he's not the Perry's not the protagonist necessarily. 
All right. Finish Merch is the protagonist, but he never wins. Okay. <laughs> we, we should definitely keep going because we've got like 15 minutes left to work with. Okay. Her mom says it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. Seb. Oh. So she just like wandered <laughs> out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Seb? Hmm, jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Not that you know of! <laughs> I sure hope she's alright. Me too. She's a good person. She doesn't take the controller from me whenever I'm playing this game. <laughs> Both of you. So, how well do you know this guy? Roar pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From up by the highway, now the possibilities close down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? <laughs> Don't police our lifestyle, B. <laughs> okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. Pizza I can shop. spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess Hello. it was you. Look who's awake. That's you, Alan, I think. It's him. No, that's Seb. It's pizza guy. Pizza's here. I have yellow text, DJ. And green. <laughs> Don't forget that. You're germ, too. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, give me the pizzas, you... you gotta give me, guys. They don't this time. Uh, you have to take your slice. Yeah, you have a slice, and you have a slice, <laughs> and you have a slice. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I'm free. <laughs> Fine. I'll, you know what? I'm gonna steal from from Greg. Oprah, Oprah may free. Mm, green. Mm. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. I mean, you did plan your funeral, dear. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Thank you. But I had a dream. <laughs> Excuse you, that is my line, DJ. Back off. Aww. You are the understudy. You are the understudy. Just back hey, off. Can I be the understudy for me from the board, please? <laughs> you know what? There you go. If I'm not here or if I'm not feeling well, you're my understudy. He takes over. For the final session. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not going to finish tonight, but like there will be one more. Well, I I'm sure to be there unless... I, I'm not the only other thing I'm planning to go is on a weekend, so. Oh, yeah, no, we'll we're, we're, we're gonna name for next Thursday. Nice. I had this dream. Or, like, a vision. Or I time traveled. Oh, no, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Where am I again? Can you not eat? You should eat. Look, dude, I'll just. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna pick it up. 
But it's better, I say, because when I, I get nauseous and I, I feel like throwing up, I say it's better to eat something than you have something to throw up instead of just mild, which is bad. Mm -hmm. it's better to have something you're a dog. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was a thing. Then please don't feed our dog. <laughs> I, why would, I wouldn't feed your dog. Look, if I had to look after your dog. That'd be too much effort. Sorry. No, we he he ended up. We took up him getting... on a road trip, and he got motion sickness and puked all over our car. Okay, all dude, over I get that. Floor, all oh, over our couch, this? and all over yep. me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mom. <laughs> That's basically what you said. You scared us to death, honey. No, sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. Me? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. I think even in Greg's route, she asks if May is there, right? If B is there, yeah. I was gonna say, why is there. it? Well, like, and oh, notice, she... did she ever ask if Angus is there? I'm assuming not. No. Um, she only he's... asks if May is, if B is, B is there. there. He is there. I think it's because B is, yeah. like, very mature. No, I mean, that's the thing. The other thing is, She's not going to ask about Greg or Angus because she says she's at Greg's apartment. And, the, and uh, May's mom knows those two live there. So he's the only mm. one who's an optional person that could or couldn't be there. Hmm. Oh, ah, yeah, that makes sense, actually. You wouldn't ask, like... It, it'd be like if I went over to DJ and Hannah's house and, like, my mom said, well, is DJ there, you know? I mean, obviously, because I'm not sure... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I would put Mozart as the mature one over you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> as Mozart stares over at us. <laughs> I guess I just want a hug. Whoa. Okay, let's not actually make the puking noise. I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> You want a brownie? Yeah, I can't really eat right now. Unless you want to, like, over... Yeah, I, like, I puke up, but there isn't anything in there. So I, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. I do enjoy that Angus is... Tall enough that his head is like right on May's, or his chin's like right on May's head. There we go. <laughs> so I know I lost the duel real fast. <laughs> it's casual, so I'm not like real upset about it, but it was really fast. <laughs> Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Nar 3. No, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Wonder where Casey is. That, um, wait, do you not? I was about to say, do you not remember, or do I need to help you? <laughs> DJ's smiling right now. So, oh gosh, they've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place, at least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Amy? Yeah. 
I'm really glad you're not dead. You know, weird thing, me too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Or gonna like wander around the apartment? It's time to hit the sack. Time to go to bed. Cool. I'll be right out. I just realized, where was B sleeping in Greg's route if May was on the couch with Greg? <laughs> you know, that's a good, very good Swing. question. Was she like, just uncomfortable sleep. in She's... the bunk bed with Angus? I think that's, what, <laughs> no, I think that's I where she is. Maybe she slept on the floor in that room. Yeah, like that, that would be, I, I'm looking at that room, like, floor sleeping in that room was fairly cozy. Yeah, I think that's what probably actually happened. Mozart is actually very pleased that we're in the same room as her right now. <laughs> hey, kids, can we do lights out now? I'm going to drop over. Plop. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Sure it's safe for you to leave? Safer for me, at least. Nobody's been following me. I was in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I just live there. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got mace. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home that one time. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, May? Yeah, Germ? What's your name short for? Margaret. Yes! Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. It's short for Maybelline. Maybe it's maybe I'm bored with it. Are they, are they holding hands? A horrifying Cthulhu uh, god. No, they no, aren't. They Their hands aren't touching. Darn. Uh, yep. Did you know why I beat down Andy Colon six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Mm, broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just something someone had written, some things. Yeah. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the, the screen into real life. Went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. And now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree. It was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like moving bulk of stuff and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore it was all just stuff stuff in the universe just dead wow that's huh and the next day was a softball game and Andy was the pitcher when I was up and he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. 
Oh my God, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. But Dr. Hank. Oh God, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. <laughs> a journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like at back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was fr just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And then there was a statue like the founder of something. A real shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared, I, I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed it, cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home. Where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head. In my life. I didn't mean to- oh. I don't mean to be, like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And, like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried! I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. <laughs> and the half a dozen other things he does. Or small town docs. And maybe leave the mental health service to someone else. <clears throat> like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And, and, and. Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... Bye, guys. Yeah, oh, oh, go, go ahead, Sam. No, you're good. So, well, so, Alan, I know that you deep in, dig into the lore. Have there been any speculations or official confirmation? No, oh, they never confirmed one way or the uh, other if this was supernatural or not. Well, I mean, not that just, but of May having like a deep personalization disorder uh, or personality yes. disorder. The thing is, they never, I don't remember what they've actually said from like the creators. They did want her to have a more like a, a is an actual disorder. I can't remember what they said if they said something. It's not borderline, right? It's... No, no. A lot of like people okay. from my memory then... said that she suffered from dissociation. Right, yeah, because it's it's looking like yeah, she had a from my from my like limited knowledge, it's sounding like she had an acute stress reaction, which is where when you're highly stressed, it's kind of like what we people talk about when they say a nervous breakdown. Mm. And her response having the nervous breakdown was to have a hallucination she here's here's the science part where we get to, where you get your grant money so it's sounding like she <laughs> deep or like she had a dissociation which is where you separate yourself from your body or yourself in some way separate from reality and that was associated with hallucinations 
and possibly delusions because where she's now not can able to connect with reality, not able to see things as real because she's mentally separated. And it's just very interesting because it's, I mean, it sounds very realistic. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they've done research or this has happened to one of them. Yes. I do know that they based a lot of stuff off of like their own research, their own histories and things like that. It wasn't even just their own experiences, but like the creators had done a lot with trying to really capture like some of the struggles of small town and like people that they knew in small towns. So that was I one mean, of the things yeah. is like uh, when it comes to medical yeah. treatment and mental health treatment, it's not as readily available not within small towns out in the Midwest. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Glockin, I, whatever I his name just... is. <laughs> he did a whole thing on that. Yep. His name was yeah. Dr. Hank. I applauded this thing. Oh, Hank, I applaud that this didn't just happen, that it was a response to stress, because that's a thing that uh, people don't think about, that these things are happening when you're not okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the other thing, is she came back home, and it was always hinted that there's something definitely wrong, because she came back in the yeah. middle of the semester, not even after a drop date. Right. She came back in mm -hmm. the middle of the semester, it was before Halloween, which... If you go to college, you know, like, the drop date's actually slightly around Halloween, but she came back a good week, uh, deal before then. So, right. she wasn't there for the drop date. She just dropped out in the middle, didn't explain why at all, just did that. And so, there was the question of why. And now mm -hmm. it's finally revealed, especially because there was some hints throughout. And I'm sure she probably put in string thoughts together well enough to figure out what to do which is why she was oh yeah no every isolating time, in her life. every time everyone asks her why did you leave college she struggles to answer mm -hmm. right this she's is the most later. coherent answer she's been able to give so far hmm. you were saying hannah sorry i was just gonna say yeah uh, like one of the big hints well i was say as a player is like you see the dream that she has where she beats the shit out of the, uh, the statue. Out of the statue. Yep. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you're not necessarily thinking of it as a disorder. You're, you're like, oh, she just had a really shitty time at college. And I mean, and she did, but... Uh... I think it's both and, right? Like, so the one triggers the other. She feels lonely and she feels unsafe. So then that triggers the, like... Yeah, triggers even worse. Yeah, uh, worse mental health issues. Yeah, and one of the things I do like about Night in the Woods is by the end of the story, she's going to get help in one way or another, with yep. either B really pushing her to see like a therapist outside of town, or Greg and Angus trying to get her out of the town, which would also theoretically get her closer to a therapist that she could see in an actual city or something like that. Yep. And she's building a support network in any case for all of these. Mm -hmm. But either way, we should try and wrap this scene up. Yep. But love you. There we go. <laughs> we'll pick up the hole in the center of everything next time. Woo! Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.